Hello, and welcome to SB252, your home for relevant sports news. My name is Donald, and once again, I'd like to tell you about breaking news that just broke out in the NFL. Just a few minutes ago, former All-Pro defensive back Darrell Rivas signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, as of late, the Kansas City Chiefs have been struggling mightily. They've lost the four out of the last five games, including a loss this weekend to the two and eight New York Giants. On one end, they have cornerback Marcus Peters, a very good young player, if not one of the best young players in the NFL currently. And on the other side at cornerback, they have Terrence Mitchell and Kenneth Aker, who, well, they've both been struggling a lot this season. So bringing in Darrell Rivas, maybe as a mentor, but definitely he's going to play a lot as well for the squad. I believe that this is a pretty good signing, especially if Andy Reid makes Darrell Rivas not play one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I know that Darrell Rivas was one of the worst cornerbacks in the NFL last year, but that's because he was terrible at one-on-one. -on -one. He's lost a lot of his speed. The speed that has made Darrell Rivas into the man that we knew once knew as Rivas Island. The seven-time Pro Bowler, the four-time All-Pro, former Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriot cornerback that he was. Now, I believe if he's used in the right way again, he can be a good piece for this team. And the Chiefs now are 6-4, and four, two games ahead of the Oakland Raiders and the San Diego Chargers in their division. Now, that's a pretty good lead for them right now, but they've got to watch out, especially with the way they've been playing lately. And with another matchup again with the Oakland Raiders in tow, they've really got to watch out because they could fall out of that division and maybe fall into the wild card position. This weekend they play the Bills, which is a good matchup for them, of course, because we all know the Bills have a quarterback controversy right now with Tyrat Taylor being benched, and now all of a sudden they're starting him again. So the Chiefs should win that game, even though Revis probably won't suit up in it. So thank you for joining us with SB252. Again, my name is Donald, and please make sure you like this video and follow us if you like videos like these. Have a good day. And have a good Thanksgiving, by the way, as this is the day before Turkey Day.